buddies, that was the legendary Screaming Jay Hawkins with Frenzy. So let's start by looking at the riff. So I'm playing over an E minor chord, and on the intro, I just start with two of those. And what I'm playing is open E, to G on three, on the E string, then C sharp on four, on the A string, pulling off to B on two, back to G on three. So I play that twice and then just finish on a B on two on the A string. And then we've got a little lead break, we'll look at those later. And then we're into the verse, which starts with the same riff. So I've got that twice. And then we move to an A minor chord. So we just move it up a, a string. So from the E string, we play the same pattern now starting on the A string. Just the first time we play it like that. So open A, C on three, F sharp to E, that's four to two on D, back to three on A. And then we've got open A, and then just going down an A minor arpeggio. E, C, A. I could play open A, but I don't want it to ring out over the next riff, so I just wanted to keep it snappy, which is why I played A on the E string, not open. So I'm just playing open, then two on D, three on A, five on E. So, so far we've got back to E, so we're back to the riff we played originally over the E minor chord. And then I play a B, and again a B. Now the second time we play it, and the third, rather than go to the B twice, we play the B once, and then an open E. So we go from a B7 chord to an E minor chord. We'll look at the chords after the riff. But, um, so the first time just B twice, the second time and third time B to E. Okay, and that E leads us into the bridge, okay? So we've got this riff over the bridge when we're going from an A major chord, okay, to an E major chord. So we're changing key from minor to major for the bridge. Okay, so I'm playing an A arpeggio, A, C sharp, E, five on E, four to seven on A, then open E to G sharp on four, and then again pulling off C sharp to B, four to two, back to G sharp on four. So on the A to E string, so. And then just end on a B note and just hold that for a bar. Well, okay. And then we've got a repeat of the verse and then we, in the solo, we're playing the same riffs but just a slightly different order. It's more like a 12 bar blues for the solo. So we've got the E minor and then A minor, E minor. And then we've got, going to a B. And so I'm playing two on A, one, four on the D string. Back to E minor. Just the same as before, E minor to A minor. Then E minor twice. Then B. And then E minor. So we've, got, we've just got one bar V. And then back to an E minor. So to finish the guitar solo riff, one of each on those last two to take us back into a bridge section. Okay, so just follow the chords for this solo. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just that extra riff 
on the B that we've not played before. Okay, and um, so that's the riff section. Next we'll take a look at the chords and then the lead breaks. For the chords, I'm starting on an E minor in the seventh position and I'm playing this rhythm. So I'm playing it bam ba ba bam bam ba ba bam bam dun 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 so I was playing it down down up down 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 up down down now you could play it down down up down up down up down up but the reason I was just doing those double down strokes at the end was just to give it a little accent on those down beats okay but it's up to you how you play it Okay, so that's just how I was playing it. And on the intro, we go straight from two of those to a B7 chord. And then on the verse, we've got that E minor to A minor. E back to E minor. A B7 another B7 and then on the second verse we go same again but when we go to the B7 B7 and instead of playing a second B7 play an E minor chord you can play it on 7 I like to play it open it's up to you okay, okay and that'll take us in to the bridge which is just an A major chord I was just playing the chord on the top four strings because we've got we've got the guitar providing the bottom end on the other guitar so um, just nice and snappy so going from A to E A to E then a B and a couple of stabs on that B and then we're back into our chord sequence uh, for the verse and again, same again, you stop on a B7, go to E minor, and then on the guitar solo section, it's pretty similar, but we just don't stop on the B, we, we just got two E's, A minor, E, B, B, and then, so you just strum the B, and then you, E minor, A minor, E minor, then a B7, and to an E. So just watch the chords on the solo, it's very easy to follow along. So next let's take a look at those little solo breaks. Throughout the song we've got all these great lead fills. The first one I played was... So we're playing it over the B7 chord and I'm using the B blues scale. So I'm playing a D on 10 with a slight bend, pushing it up towards D sharp. And then a B on seven, so 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 I just push it up, and then play seven, and then I go down the scale from an F sharp. So that's seven on B F sharp, E on nine on the G string, D again with a slight bend, land on D on B on nine on the D string. For the second break, I started with the same lick I played the first time. And then I moved it up the neck. Okay, because I'm now over an E minor chord. So I'm starting with the same notes. A D with a, a push to B. But this time playing it on 15 and 12 on the B string, rather than 10 and 7. And that's because I'm in the right position for the rest of the lick. So... And then I'm playing an F sharp. Again with a slight bend. So just on 14. And then going down the E blues scale. So... So from that bend on 14, I go 12 on E, then 15, 12 on B, 14, 12, with a little pull on G, and then E to D, 
14, 12. So 14, 12, 14, 12. So. So bend on 14. Slight push. And 12 on E. And 15, 12. 14, 12, 14, 12. That's the second break. For the third lick, I've got. So again, I'm up in the 12th position. And I'm playing a little bend again on 14. A B on 12. And then just repeatedly doing that little push on 14 on the E string, back to 12 on B. And then, again, around the E blue scale. So again, just bend in on 14, then to 12. And then going down the scale from the bend to the G. So kind of pushing it towards the G, not quite getting there. So 14 again, and then down the blue scale. So E, D, B, A, G. Then E on 14, back up. So we're going 12, 15, 12. So, so starting on 14 basically, after that, so 14, 12 with the bend, then 14, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14 on D, back to 12 on G, bend and release on 14 on, on G, and then 14 on D. So we got Okay, and that's the third one. The next break leads us into the guitar solo and I played So I'm just playing two notes there, 15 and 12 on the B string D to B with that push again on the D. Just just doing that on 15. Okay, and then very similar to what we played before. So again, bend it on 14 to 12. And then bend it again, going down the blue scale. 12, 15, 12. And coming on, 14, 12 on G. And coming back up. So. Going back to G on 12. And then, and then skipping the A note. And playing B, D, B, A. So, slowly. And then we're into the guitar solo. I improvised the solo based loosely around the original recording. So it's a combination of a blue scale and some double stops, etc. And it's really good to sort of learn some of the licks, but then just do your own version and can have some fun with it. Okay, so I was playing a lot around the E blue scale. Okay, and I could probably play the whole solo just using the blue scale. But it's more fun to add a few notes here and there. But to start with the blue scale, I've got E, G, A, B flat, B, D, E, G, A, B flat, B, D, E, G. So in frets, that's on the bottom string, E. Then we've got 12, 15, 12, 13, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15. Okay, and I started, I also added 
occasionally a C sharp on 14 on the B string and use the F sharp as well on 14 on the E string. And I just started with some bends, some classic kind of bluesy kind of rock and roll. And I utilised that little C sharp in there. Although you could use the D as well, whatever you want. But just playing the first lick around the 12th and 14th frets of the D and G and B strings. Okay, I say don't follow too closely, just do your own thing. And then when we went to the A minor chord, okay, I did some... I used a C natural note as a kind of extra note, not a C sharp, because we've got a C natural in the chord. So we get a nice bit of variety there, a nice flavour by using these extra notes. So, um, so I was just playing double stops and just incorporating these two notes, 14 and 15 on the E string. Whatever you want there. When I went to the, back to the E, I went back to the blues scale. Kind of stuff. And then on the B, I just played Again, using double stops, very kind of rock and roll. Double stop on seven, just over, over that B chord. Just add in a C sharp and D. Kind of, you know, you can bend that D as well. You know, just very much like we played on the intro though. Um, and then really just shifting around with the chords back to the E. All that kind of stuff, also adding another classic little rockabilly kind of rock and roll trick is to just play C sharp and G with a little push. That's 14 and 15 on the B and E strings. And then just finish with a little kind of just using the, the scale with the extra notes to just do some little fast little runs to finish sort of that kind of stuff so just using 15 14 12 15 14 12 15 14 12 top three strings and 14 and just playing those in the kind of any combination something like that okay so you can just learn the e blue scale and some double stops Throw in those notes and just have some fun with it because um, it's a great tune to jam to. So I hope that's helped and I hope you've enjoyed Screaming Jay Hawkins and Frenzy. Thanks for watching, buddies.